rid of Kiwi and Super Kells, except not because well, Static Manny, while spark. he he, right Spark, <laughs> it, that's gonna be that's gonna be tough. Yeah, <laughs> call Manny. I mean, it's his first. Yeah. But uh, Kool Aid, a completely different caliber of uh, Pac Man than the Kiwi. Not to say that Kiwi is you know not to sleep on Kiwi or anything, but Kool Aid, you know, very good Pac Man, maybe the best Pac Man. Uh, at this point, and uh, Manny again, a, a very different kind of Sonic than both, Super Goku. Yeah, Goals. both of these players are very methodical, mm -hmm. and well, with their matchups. So it's like, okay, I gotta camp around this option, and then so so forth, so forth. Whereas Supergirl Kel, she has all the tech, and she just wants to just get in your face. She wants to play her game, and she wants to win playing her game. Yeah. But right now, Kool-Aid doing a good job, just hanging at the ledge, mm -hmm. and we've seen. Three different Sonics play, and it seems just hang, hanging by the ledge, it's good against Sonic because if Sonic spin dashes at you, yep. then he's giving up stage control. The one thing you do have to worry about, though, with that is you have to worry about uh, the footstool and the down air that can happen at that's, the ledge. That's true. But if you shield the spin dash, you should be okay. Yeah. So I'm not sure if Kool-Aid has an item right now, uh, which is that 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 is a thing that Kool-Aid is very good at is making you not know what he has. So he had a key there. And look at that. If there you don't you know go. that he has a key, that could be super scary. He has the bell right now. Uh, so the bell's the one with the stun. And what Kool-Aid can actually use is use the water to position the bell at a good spot that Spark won't be ready for. Oh, that's right. Kool-Aid is probably the best Pac-Man at using the water because he, he just knows. He just knows where he's yeah. going to be at that time. So what I actually want to mention uh, real quick. Ooh, that was a little scary. Uh, so I said that he had the bell and he actually had the key. Kool-Aid is almost frame perfect on his item charges so that it may look like he has one, but he actually has the next one. So it, it looks like he had bell there and he did, but he could have made it look he could have made it look like he had bell and he actually had key. It's yeah. something that separates him from any other Pac-Man that you see play. And it's weird because the key is it, it, so it's so fast coming at you whereas the bell, you know, of that arc. So So you're like, "Oh, I don't have to worry about it right now because he has Oh. Oh, and he missed it. He but got he it. did, but just misses the up smash. Yep. Looked like he did a jump cancel, maybe? Yeah, that's what I was just going to say. He might have accidentally jump canceled it and slid a little bit. And Kool Aid, actually, with the lead right now, showing the uh, the parallel between this match and the one we saw between Kiwi and Supergirl Kells. Oh, nice catch. <gasps> and there, there it go. is. So that's what I'm talking about. He recatches the bell and he sets up for that up smash. Interacting with that spin dash very well. Mm -hmm. Nice right. up air coming out. Yeah. That air dodge was fine because he yep. knew he wouldn't die for it. But getting that forward smash right away, kind of surprised, but. Spark has brought this back. 0-0. Zero, zero. We're Even right game. back where we started. Yep. So now one thing I don't see a lot of Pac-Man do in bracket, like you see him do in like friendlies or like online or whatever, is the, the resets that he can do. Mm -hmm. So he has his forward air is actually a, a reset move and it can jab lock. So oh, yeah. and it's so it, it's fast and it can work and with Pac-Man's floatiness that he can get like three of them in a reset. And it's very interesting. And I I always like seeing that kind of stuff, so I'm not sure if we'll see that coming out from Kool-Aid. But I think it could definitely be something if he notices that uh, Spark is having trouble teching some of his moves. Yeah. Doesn't seem to have a lot of situations where he'll get the full. Oh, no! His jump was gone, <sighs> and then you know what happens if yeah. your jump's gone and you spin dash. Goodbye. And the oh water, boy. water, it's just it happens sometimes. <laughs> oh, it, and the water insult the injury. Yeah. <laughs> So uh, there, there have been many a time that that has happened to a player where the water just absolutely messes them up. Oh, yeah. I remember my favorite one that was probably the funniest to watch was uh, throwback to Evo 2015 mm -hmm. with Esam with Customs <laughs> playing against Avadango with the, the super headbutt. Yep. And he got the he did the super headbutt, but the water hit him, and he skyrocketed off the stage. He died at, like, 40 because he was just like, well, I'm dead. So the water... You have to keep it in mind because it can just it can just take you away. And again, Kool Aid knows exactly where you'll be as the water is carrying you away. Yep. So oftentimes you'll see just a random smash attack because he knows. Yep. And uh, for stages, I'm not sure where we're gonna go. Uh, Duck Hunt can be a good one for Sonic here because it's wide open. It does have platforms, which are still good for him. And then. Uh, Kool Aid with the projectiles, the ducks can get in the way of the projectiles a lot. Oh, that's true. Mm -hmm. So that's a stage that I see a lot of people bring. If they're a zoner that doesn't rely on projectiles, they can bring other zoners that rely on projectiles to that stage, and it can be very good for them. FD, oh, we're going back. We'll see. We've seen a switch. Oh, 
Roy's our boy. All right, so like you said, he stubbornly uses the Roy. Let's see if it's going to pay off for him. Uh, Perhaps uh, he wants to get into Pac-Man's face and just use the sword, 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 sword. Yeah, and Roy's a very fast character too, so. Yeah, deceptively fast. Mm -hmm. But uh, look at that. Roy can't catch him at all on platforms. Yep. So that's going to be His key. jumps are very low, and, you know, with that, like I mentioned earlier, with the uh, how it stalls his momentum when he's charging up the fruit, it can be very good to just kind of, I'm going to get my item for free because you can't challenge me in the air like that. Yeah. And uh, it seems if Roy gets in, he'll win the trades because, like, they'll both, like, Pac-Man's Nair will be able to still trade with a lot of what Roy can do. Mm -hmm. But Roy will win the trades up close. But yep. Kool-Aid spacing is so good um, that you won't you won't really see much of those trades. It's still going to be much of an even game. Yeah, for sure. Oh, geez, goes for the uh, hardest of us, man. Yeah, you can you dash and then, cr like, press crouch, down. Yeah, yeah, you crouch out of the dash. Ooh, nice catch for Manny. Oh, Dro Z, Z dropped. Nice. nice. I, I believe Z drop comes out on frame one, so it's yeah, very, very fast. And that uh, that neutral B uh, has no lag. That was so smart. Really good short hop call out from Manny. That was so smart. That up air was so safe on shield, and he knew ups you just get the up smash frame advantage. And that up smash that uh, Roy, Marth, Lucina all have, it grabs on both sides, and Roy's, you know, has that fire that hits so much to so much damage, too. Right, and, he, so he's, and he's calling out the movement of Kool-Aid, and Kool-Aid uh, stopped doing what should be working and just fire hydrant. Yeah. There we go. This fire There hydrant. you go. All right. Kool-Aid's bringing in this back, though. So he has Bell or even Key. That's Bell. Oh, he dash attacked. I didn't think he wanted dash attack. No, I don't think so either. All right. Catching him off his jump at the orange. They're perfectly utilizing his projectiles to his he has liking. Melon currently, which is very slow, but does a lot of damage. Yeah, he he wanted to like frame chop him with mm -hmm. juggles at that point. So like we just saw right there that the forward air is the thing that can set up four more forward airs into the reset, and that's gonna trap footstool Z drop. Oh, wait, did he's I dead. Get, wait wait he's, he's frame dead. two? Oh, um, wait no, he didn't even have to use his jump. Yeah. I was wondering if that actually got the frame two or not. I don't know. But he didn't even have to use his jump. There's the key. There is the key, key to though. success. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> He's got the key again. And that's going to be big because he wants to build. He wants to bring us back, so the key is going to be the most damaging. Yep. Those but he could so also, good. Yeah, he could also try to use Galaga to uh, go for crazy combos. And I know Kool-Aid knows those combos. Mm -hmm. Where you throw it and then you dash attack to grab it and you just continue the combo. Do Pac-Man things. Yeah, yeah. Pac-Man things. Oh, the armor on the up B coming in clutch for Manny. Yeah. Manny, right. it seems like he almost knows this matchup because he seems to know what moves are going to break the hydrant, which is uh, very interesting. I wonder if uh, Spark has some Pac-Man practice. Yeah, I'm trying to think of who might in his region, but well, I don't know of anyone down there. But I, I, I just respect Spark for being a very oh, yeah. patient player and he's been adaptive. in the game. He's been in Smash 4 since the start too. So yeah. Forward smash, not enough. With rage, probably. But uh, Kool-Aid just not able to get his footing this game. Yep. <laughs> okay. All right, luckily that's not Marf. <laughs> <laughs> All right, see what Kool-Aid can get off that. Oh, I think he was trying to knock him off the platform. That's going to kill. Yeah, even with even with good DI, he was dead. Up, Yeah, Roy's up B is super good. Uh, has armor on startup and does massive damage. And it can even, you can even combo into it. It's like one of the, uh, the, I don't know if it's like a low level Roy thing, because I don't see like people like Spark or uh, Rio doing it too often, but uh, just down throw into Uppy. I think it's all like 23% uh, percent ki uh, combo at low percents. Yeah, um, I think what it is is that that combo is more like resetting to neutral for Roy, yeah. but you want to bring pressure the momentum, you want to yeah. pressure, exactly. For sure, I can definitely see that. And that up B also has a weird trajectory, so you have to DI it differently. Mm -hmm. You have to actually tilt your control stick towards the blast zone, gotcha. I believe. So uh, that's why Kool-Aid had the oh. weird DI. Because if you DI that normally, then you'll get sent straight up or yeah. at least that ankle. Gonna, thought we were going to see a switch from Kool-Aid. Uh, if I were to see him switch to anyone, I think I would want to see him switch to Sheik or Fox. I agree. Uh, edge guards for Sheik and Roy's weight and fastball speed. Or just combo food. So I've seen characters. Roy do very well against Sheik. Mm -hmm. I've uh, I was just at Xanadu a bit ago and I okay. saw uh, Dexter versus Pape. We're going back. We are. What are we doing? Oh. Oh, we okay. are going back to Sonic. Let's see what stage he picked. Okay. Omega Mushroom Kingdom. Oh uh, yeah, I respect the Omegas. 
Not all Omegas are the same, though. The grass and the traction. Yeah, that was, oh, that's right. Oh, hold up. I don't know if that actually might not be legal. I don't know our rule set, but uh, we might not allow Omegas besides Palatinas. I don't know. Even then, we'll just just be like, no Omegas at all. It m might be might be due to the music. I don't know. Oh, that is that is a, that people say that a lot. I'm curious. Yeah, yeah. Yes, yeah, so we're going FD. Okay. Omega FD. It doesn't do anything, right? No. Okay. <laughs> Some pe I know there's people that think that it gets rid of the. That's uh, such a casual move, like Omega FD. I know there's people that think it gets rid of the transition, but I'm pretty sure it doesn't. I mean, that'd be nice because no more flashy lights at random points. Yeah, for sure. So, a repeat of game one, obviously. We got Sonic and Pac-Man. And you know what? I think this is actually a pretty smart decision from Manny because he lost game one because of the SD. Yeah. Or the water, or whatever you want to call it. He didn't lose because he got necessarily outplayed that much. But So I, I think it's a smart play for Manny to go back to the tried and true. Yeah, and I don't think Roy on FD would have done it against Pac-Man. Oh, God, no. Yeah, God, no. <laughs> that's definitely like, definitely. A g it's also the stage definitely coming in, uh, in effect as well. Yeah. Good movement coming up for Manny trying to bash fade out with some dash dances. Homing attack. We got a key. That's that's not a move you see often or oh. connect often. Oh, good key. He's punishing landing with the key, which is very important. He's got Gallagher right now. Yeah, but um, Sonic will wanna get in Pac-Man's face. Just try not to let him get the key, but yep. Kool Aid spacing, and just weaving in and out. It's it's really good. Yep. And he has good reaction with those up airs as well. The orange. Nice. You see Kool-Aid uh, throwing a bit of aerials and then resetting the neutral. He's trying to reset the neutral over and over. He really, really needs the item. Yeah. So right now he does have the bell, but he could change that could change any second. Just like now. Yep. He's going for a lot of key. I think because it, it covers that straight up, and then he can hit the hydrant. So it covers if he jumps out of his spin dash or anything like that. And here I thought Kool-Aid dropped Pac, man. But it's still as strong as ever. Oh, yeah. Pac God over here. Yeah. <laughs> love watching Kool-Aid's Pac, man. I love watching him in general. No mm -hmm. bias or anything. But it's like, he's so oh, good, Oh, yeah, man. you definitely have those players. And especially, like, New England pride and all that. So Yeah. So interesting from uh, from Pac-Man is I think when you do the hydrant on the ground, you get the sp the water that sends you upwards too. Um, so from that, I think it uh, it, it was kind of maybe trying to set up for like a ladder combo or something. Maybe. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, gets a little F tilts onto the hydrant. Well, so let's see how uh, Spark can bring this back because he's he's currently down. Yep. But he's not out because Pac-Man's kill options have to rely on setups. Setups, yeah. So Bell. Um, you know, and of course the traps. key, but it's also a reactable move if you're at a good distance. I didn't even know he had Bell there. Look at that. Like, see, that's what I'm talking about. Like, it's so hard for a player to stay aware on what they're doing and what Pac-Man is doing. Yeah. Oh, there it is. Oh, uh, too high. Yeah, very unfortunate. And it sucks for Pac-Man too because he doesn't really have an aerial that can kill at that percent. So if you're too high for the up smash to hit, he, he's kind of just there's not much. He get. The only thing that I could think he could possibly do is maybe side B kill, but that might take a little bit too long to set up. Yeah. And looks like the invincibility got through the the uh, bell this time. Oh, that was so smart by Kool-Aid. He wanted to go for the tech chase, but instead backed off at the last second. Some good reaction. The apple. Oh, oh wow! No. Good read from Spark there. That was a great read. He just kind of threw it out. It's such a fast move too. And are we gonna see Florida take out New England again? We'll see here right now. Shine 2016. Let's go. Kool-Aid definitely needs to take the stock as soon as possible. And now, I, I always hate to bring this up, but we are at two and a half minutes left on the timer right Thanks now. Thanks for pointing that out, because it's like Static Manny, or Spark rather, again, I did it, but. <laughs> it's he, something he, to keep in mind. It, Both yeah. of these players are not afraid to be patient. Run out, oh, tried to use the water on the bell there. That could have been really That almost worked. Yeah. That almost worked. The Hydrant kind of stuffing the spin dash there, F-Tilt. But uh, Spark is not really trying to go for the timeout. He still really, really needs to get damage mm -hmm. in order to make his because, yeah. end game strategy optimal. There's a the neutral air. Yeah, uh, Sonic actually Ooh. spin dashed, then jumped up. There's not much you can do out of that. He's got the apple right now, I believe. Nice, nice back, back air. air. And commentator blessing. <laughs> that nice back oh, air. Goes for the. Ooh! Okay. Okay, let's go, oh, Kool-Aid. Okay, that kill. I didn't think that was going to kill. I think he was DI'ing for a back air. 
Oh, so he's waiting on the platform, either maybe taking a, a little breath, but now we're at a minute and a half. But he's now, like, he's got the percent lead. Yeah. That was, like, he. I think he got a fruit into up air combo, like, that true length. All right, nice air dodges coming out from uh, Pac-Man. He's taking the lead, which is really good. Yeah, very important for Spark. and uh, But Kool-Aid can't really do anything but play his own game. And, and it, it, oh, like, if the time is at a factor, that's going to yep. Spark's advantage. We're under a minute now. And now he's just hard reading with back ears. Yep. I think Kool-Aid's getting a little impatient. Yeah, and that's exactly why you don't just have to go for the defensive option of running away because you know they're going to get antsy, and then you can just fight them. And one of the downfalls of the character that uh, of Pac-Man is Kool-Aid has not grabbed once this entire set. Yeah. And that's because that's Kool-Aid's grab is notoriously bad, and especially against well, characters. Like, <laughs> yeah, sorry. And uh, it's... Uh, it, that, it's just something that is a limitation of the character, which can be a real pain to deal with. Because grabbing can be very good against Sonic. Yeah, so now there's only 20 seconds left. And we're definitely gonna, either going to get a timeout or a Pac-Man. Probably going to get killed. Uh, it's going to be very hard for, for uh, Kool-Aid to bring it back and end it. Yeah, and then spin shot, spin shot, spin dash. Bada bing. Four. Four. And yeah. not going to give him the satisfaction. Gave him a fist bump, though. Yeah. You know, as well, much I mean, as that's not what I meant, but. <laughs> oh, no, no, I know, I know. Like, as much as, like, you hate, see, like, it, it, it sucks to get timed out. It sucks. It, it, it definitely is not fun. But it's part of the game. It's part of the game. They played within the bounds of the rules. So, you know, it's, uh, I always hate when someone gets timed out and they don't go for the fist bump. It's like, I hate, I hate being timed out. I <laughs> absolutely hate it. I am a very aggressive and fast player, mm. and I don't like when someone slows down the game that much. So, like, I, I'm, but I'm not gonna, you know, you gotta respect the player. They they did what they had to do to win, and yeah. that's. And I may go to my friends. I may go complain, <laughs> but I'm not gonna take away that victory from that person because you know it just they outplayed me. You know I should have never let it get to the point that they could do that. Yeah, 